in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen, amen. my dear sisters and brothers in christ jesus a hearty welcome to each one of you to this thunder of god episode my dear sisters and brothers psalm 51 verse 15 the psalmist is praying to god lord open my lips that my mouth shall declare your praise the psalmist was aware of the fact that he needed the grace from above only with the grace from god the father he was able to praise god today i would like to speak to you about the importance of praise the power of praise so the very beginning of this episode let us spend a few minutes in praise especially i would like to invite you to open your bible psalm 103 it's a very beautiful psalm verse 1 and 2 the psalmist is praising god bless the lord o my soul and all that is within me bless his holy name bless the lord o my soul and do not forget all his benefits and again the psalmist says who forgives all your iniquity who heals your diseases who redeems you your life from the pit who crowns you with steadfast love and mercy so let us spend a few minutes in singing this psalm bless the lord o oh my soul thank you lord praise you jesus we glorify your name lord we bless your name father you are great bless the lord o oh my soul o oh my soul Worship His holy name Sing like never before Oh my soul, I will worship Your holy name Bless the Lord of my soul Oh my soul Worship His holy name Sing like never before worship your holy name if you want to clap your hands please do so oh jesus abba father holy spirit you are wonderful you are great we glorify you you're rich in love and you're slow to anger your name is great and your heart is kind for all your goodness i will keep on singing ten thousand reasons for my heart to find bless the lord of my soul my soul worship his holy name sing like never before oh my soul i will worship your holy name glorify your name jesus you are king of glory you are our savior you are the redeemer the sun comes up it's a new day dawning it's time to sing your song again whatever may pass and whatever lies before me Let me be singing when the evening comes Oh bless the Lord bless the Lord oh my soul oh my soul worship this holy name sing like never before oh my soul i will worship your holy name bless the Lord oh my soul Oh 
Praise the Lord. Praise, Praise the, the Lord. Lord. My dear sisters and brothers in Christ Jesus. Pope Francis gave a homily in 2014 September. And he spoke about the power of praise. When I was reading that homily, it really touched my heart. So I thought to speak a few things from his homily also today. Pope Francis says, King David danced before God. I will quote, please listen. David's prayer of praise led him to move beyond all composure. This was precisely a prayer of praise. So in the second book of Samuel, chapter 6, verse 12, there, David, who was the king of Israel, was filled with joy and happiness because the Ark of Covenant was with him. So when he saw the Ark of Covenant, when he remembered the beautiful things that the Lord has done in his life, he forgot himself and he started to praise God. He started to dance before the Lord. So please listen to that word of God. So David went and brought up the ark of God from the house of Obededom to the city of David with rejoicing. And when those who bore the ark of the Lord had gone six paces, he sacrificed an ox and a fatling. David danced before the Lord with all his might. See, David danced before the Lord with all his might. So my dear sister and brother, please think about how you praise God. How you ever praised God with all your might. So the Bible really promoting the Christians to praise God with all might, with all strength. That's why in the book of Sirach, chapter 43, verse 30, the Bible reminding each one of us to praise God with all our might. Please listen. Glorify the Lord and exalt Him as much as you can. So as much as you can. For He surpasses even that. Yes. When you exalt Him, summon all your strength and do not grow weary for you cannot praise Him enough. See, when we praise God with all our might, we are trying to fulfill the first commandment. Love the Lord, your God, with all your might, with all your strength, with all your heart. This is very, very important in our Christian life. So many people have got a, a wrong concept about praise. Some people think that it is only for the uh, people in the renewal, the charismatic renewal. No. So when Pope Francis gave his homily, he very uh, clearly said that prayer of praise is a Christian prayer. It's for everyone. And he says, some people may say, it's not, I am not able to give praise God. I am not able to praise Him. Then Pope Francis says, when your team playing football or any other match, when the, your team scoring a goal, you shout. 
And Pope Francis, why can't you do that same for the Lord? He is great. He's omnipotent. He's omnipresent. He's all powerful God. Why can't you think about those things, the beautiful things the Lord has done in your life? So Pope Francis again says, there is a difference between thanksgiving, adoration, prayer of petition, and praise. Pope Francis says, for Christians, it may be easy for them to give thanks to the Lord because the Lord has given lots of blessing. So prayer of thanksgiving may be an easy one. And also prayer of petition. We all do that. Even uh, adoration. We really love to be in the presence of the Lord, especially when there is an uh, exposition of the Blessed Sacrament. We all love to go and sit before the Lord quietly. We all love that. Pope Francis says, all these things are easy. But when we come to the prayer of praise, it is not easy. He says, it doesn't come very easily to the people. So we have to take a step. We have to take some uh, initiative to do that. This is very important in our life. And he says, the Christian life becomes fruitful only if a Christian gives proper praise to God. You see, when David was praising God, when he was dancing with all his might, what happened? His wife, Michal, was watching him. And when she saw that David was dancing with all his might, she despised him in her heart. It was difficult for her to accept the prayer of praise of David. So she despised in her heart. And the Bible says, she became sterile. And Pope Francis says, the Christian life becomes sterile if you don't give praise to God. So my dear sisters and brothers, the Bible both in Old Testament and in the New Testament, encouraging us to do this prayer of praise. Psalms, many Psalms are full of praise. I remember when I was studying in the seminary, my professor who taught me, taught us uh, about the uh, book of Psalms. He said, when you give praise God, you have to praise God with all your power. You have to use all the instruments. Because the Psalms really teach each one of us to do that. Psalm 71, verse 23 and verse 8. My lips will shout for joy when I sing praises to you. My soul also, which you have rescued. Yeah, My lips will shout for joy. So these lips have a duty to praise God in a loud voice. Again, verse 8. My mouth is filled with your praise. Yeah, my mouth is filled with his praise. That's why Psalm 51, verse 15, David was praying to God, Lord, open my lips so that my mouth declare your praises. So our mouth should be filled with the praises of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank, Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Praise, praise you, Jesus. Jesus. In the New Testament, when Jesus knew that he has to go to Jerusalem and he will suffer and he will die, he chose a donkey and he was entering into Jerusalem. That the people, when they saw Jesus, they were filled with joy and they started to praise him. So in the, in the Gospel of St. Luke, Chapter 19, we read that, verses 37 and 38. Please listen. As he was now approaching the path down from the Mount of Olives, the whole multitude of the disciples began to praise God joyfully with a loud voice for all the deeds of power <coughs> that they had seen, saying, Blessed is the King who comes in the name of the Lord, Peace in heaven and glory in the highest heaven. You see, 
loud voice they were praising god in a loud voice so if jesus didn't promote it jesus would have said stop it i don't need this stop it but jesus promoted it that's why some of the scribes and pharisees who could never digest this came to jesus and said lord ask your disciples to stop it but what did jesus say in verse 39 and 40 please listen some of the pharisees in the crowd said to him teacher order your disciples to stop he answered i tell you if these were silent the stones would shout out so this is very very important praise god with all your might especially in a loud voice that's why saint john when he had this vision of heaven he heard the praise and worship from heaven that's the book of revelation chapter 19 verses 5 and 6 and from the throne came a voice saying praise our god all you his servants and all who fear him small and great then i heard what seemed to be the voice of a great multitude like the sound of many waters and like the sound of mighty thunder peals crying out hallelujah so it was a mighty praise he heard in heaven so when we when we praise god with a loud voice we are joining the heavenly choirs the seraphim the cherubim and all the angels so it's very important that's why in our holy mass we do praise at least twice during the time of sanctus and also when we sing gloria we all praise god so our heart should be filled with praises praise the lord praise, praise the, the lord. lord hallelujah hallelujah so in the even in the old testament the levites their duty was to praise god with the power let's we see in the book of chronicles second chronicles chapter 20 verse 90 please listen and the levites of the kohathites and the korahites stood up to praise the lord the god of israel with a very loud voice you see the levites they stood up and they praised god with a very loud voice that is important in our lives don't forget that if the christian life becomes fruitful only if a christian gives proper praise to god again sirach chapter 15 verses 9 and 10 please read so we read that from the new american bible sirach chapter 15 verses 9 and 10 unseemly is praise on a sinner's lips for it is not accorded to him by god but praise is offered by the wise man's tongue its rightful steward will proclaim it praise the lord praise, praise the, the lord. lord hallelujah hallelujah and pope francis says prayer of praise is justice i will read it from his uh, sermon it is an act of justice prayer of praise is an act of justice again pope francis says if you despise people who praise god spontaneously your life will become sterile just as meekhart's life became sterile and he asks this question how many times have you despised people who praised god spontaneously says sin my dear sisters and brothers and pope francis he said i'll read it for you he gave he gives a warning to the christians he says those who are closed in the formality of prayer that is called stingy might end up as migha in the sterility of her formality you see now many christians life became like this sterile because we know only the formal praise and also we never appreciate the people 
who praise God spontaneously. So Pope Francis says, your life, especially the Christian life, becomes fruitful only if you give proper praise to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Now let us stand and let us praise God together. Now let us close our eyes. If you want, you can just lift your hands and just praise God because he is beautiful. He is great. He has done amazing things in our lives, especially Jesus Christ shed his blood for us. So we are, we are here to praise him. Hallelujah, Lord. Praise Hallelujah. you, Lord. Thank we you praise Jesus. your name, we Lord. You, Jesus. you are great, oh Lord. You are wonderful. Jesus. We glorify we you, Jesus. You, we glorify we you. you Abba, Father, we thank praise you. We praise you. We praise you, Lord. We praise you. Thank you, Lord. Oh, Hosanna. Hosanna in the highest. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We give you praise. We give you glory. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Jesus. Lord, thank you, Lord. We worship you. Hallelujah. We thank you. We Hallelujah. glorify you, Jesus. We glorify your name, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Praise thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Praise, Praise you, Lord. you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ truly God and truly man is here surrender all your weaknesses to the Lord so that his power may be manifested in our lives now I pray for your families offer all your brokenness to the hands of the Lord let the Lord intervene in your family. If you want to kneel down, you can kneel down. You can stretch out your hands to Jesus. Just to call upon the name Jesus and receive his blessing. There is power in his name. There is healing in his name. There is anointing in his name. Oh, there is, there is much power when we call upon his name. Jesus. Jesus. 